on me Everybody ain't ready, but somebody gotta leave the sheep The world's a jungle, full of gorillas, lions and tigers and bears, oh my, hey, look out for service, we take, watch out for quicksand and make sure you break, the world is a jungle, full of gorillas, lions and tigers and bears, oh my, hey, look out for service, we take, watch out for quicksand and make sure you break, the world is a jungle, lions and tigers and bears, oh my, lions and tigers and bears, oh my, yes, I'm high, you don't have to ask, but I'm here to uh, review another album, it's uh, Savage Mode 2, Savage Mode 2 from uh, Metro Boomin' and 21 Savage, um, First of all, it's gonna fuck your head up. Well, it fucked my head up. I don't know about you, but it fucked my head up. You feel what I'm saying? Um, like, is that who the fuck I think it is? Like, that sound like... Yeah, it is. Before, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it is. I looked it up. It is. Um, Morgan Freeman is narrating the album, so he got this little skits and interludes and this little stuff throughout the fucking album, which is dope as fuck. Like, number one, you can't shit on that for anything. Like, Shawshank Redemption... Hollywood's favorite guy is narrating 21 Savage, Savage Mode 2. Like, you can't hate on that. You feel what I'm saying? Number one. Um, but moving on into the album, though, um, the intro is fire because, like I said, it's um, just Morgan Freeman talking about uh, what it is for, like, when two geniuses meet up. I guess that's the, like, the theme of the album with 21 Savage and Metro booming. It's like when two geniuses get together. This is what happens. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that's what's, what the uh, intro is about. But it's Morgan Freeman talking that shit. So, I mean, you can't hate on it. It's really um, actually pretty dope. Then he moves into um, running. That's a dope ass song. I, I I came in. You can't hate on it. Like the beat, dope. The beat fire as fuck. Twenty one Savage is just killing the beat. You know what I'm saying? He riding it like you know. He doing this little thing. He in his pocket on that shit. I can't hate on it. You know what I'm saying? Um, great way to start off the shit. It ride. You know what I mean? I might even uh, put that in my revolver playlist. It's a possibility. Um. Then he moves on to Glock in my lap, which is another cool. It's another real cool song. Sorry, my third is kind of my throat is kind of dry. <laughs> um, uh, Glock in my lap, like I was saying, is another cool ass song. You know what I mean? Um, another one where you you know it, it really it, it makes you understand why motherfuckers fuck with Twenty One Savage. You feel what I'm saying? That type of shit. You feel what I'm saying? Um, really give you that Savage mode feel. Um, then he moves into Mister Right Now. Um, another you know cool song. Um, I will say this, like, when it comes to what songs I would use, like, a favor for Drake from, like, I don't know if 21 Savage paying for features from Drake, or if, you know, Drake, you know, just do that, you know, off the shoulder or whatever, you know what I mean? But, um, I do feel like it was a waste of a Drake feature. This uh, Mr. Right Now song, like, uh, it could turn into a sleeper hit. Um, it's possible, like, I could see how maybe the females are really, um, lash on to a song like this. It's possible, but, um, like I said, I think it's a waste of a Drake feature. You know what I mean? Like, cause if, if you're gonna, like, if, if you're gonna have a Drake feature, it needs to be a hit. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. You want, you want yeah. Um, then we get into rich nigga shit. When I think about it, like, the first time I heard it, I was like, uh... Then, like, the second time, it was like, okay, this kind of ride. But around the third time I listened to this song, like, I kind of really said, okay, I get it. You know what I mean? And for sure, for sure, for sure, um, it's featuring Young Thug, and Thug is in his motherfucking pocket. Like, like you know, when Thug give you that, 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 whew, when he gives you that per that... Soprano type shit all the way up there And he starts like kind of floating on the beat And sounding like a goddamn Nigga digitized harmonica and shit Like he yeah he, he's in that He's in that bag you know what I mean So yeah Thug was really doing his thing um, On his parts and you know what I mean 21 Savage also you know, like yeah That's a That's a um that's one that could be a hit That could be a hit I mean I think that's gonna be The one that um everybody's um, Putting in their playlist you know what I mean Off of this album um, then he moves in the slide I'm just not feeling it That's me though I'll move on <laughs> um, 
Then he moved into Mini Men. You know, when you hear Mini Men, you know, automatically gonna think of 50 Cent, what's going on like that. And I um, I could kind of see where he was going with this. He kind of had like a, a little bit, I think of like a cameo or a little sample from uh, 50 Cent's Mini Men at the end of the song. Um, cool song, all right, you know what I mean? Um, might, might grow on me, but I'm, you know, it's just a man right now, you feel me? Um, then we go to the Snitches and Rats interlude. And the Snitches and Rats interlude is dope as fuck. Like, you gotta fuck with the Snitches and Rats interlude. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, it's Morgan Freeman breaking down the difference between a civilian, a snitch, and a rat. You know that's gold. Pure gold. So, yeah, that, that shit was like damn near epic you feel what i'm saying so yeah fuck with the snitches and rats in the loop um now the snitches and rats song on the other hand i don't know i, I kind of feel like you missed the mark i just kind of feel like you missed the mark on the song you know what i mean like um throughout the album the beats and flows do get repetitive and I would say my biggest problem with 21 Savage all together is just like um it's kind of boring like his flow his his voice is real monotone it's kind of boring you know what I mean so when you got an album full of the same production you know what I mean and the same flows and the same voice it gets repetitive yeah um, my dog is the next song that came up. Um, this song is cool. It's, in my opinion, it's pretty skippable. It's another I uh, like. Eh, it kind of just you know falls into that you know repetitive kind of shit. You know what I mean? Um, ah, oh, but then you got um. Stepping on niggas. Stepping on niggas. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. Like, that beat is immaculately fired. Immaculately fired. Like, he got that old school shit going with, like, the new school vibe. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you could you could hear that, like, old school, like, easy E era, motherfucking Ice Cube era, boom, boom, beats. You feel what I'm saying? But it, it got that new school like drum and, and, and vibe to it too. Beats immaculate. And 21 Savage does not fuck it up. I can't, you know what I mean? If any song, if any um song on the album is gonna be a hit hit, I think it's that one. Mark my word, I think it's that one. It's the stepping on nigga shit. Like that shit is pretty fire. Like it make you wish you still had like well, it make me wish. I don't know what you got in your shit. You feel me? Like, but I used to have like two tens in the throne. That shit used to kind of beat. Like, I used to get a little attention when I had that. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's neither here nor there. And that was a long motherfucking time ago. So we gonna, um, yeah. Um, then we went to uh, Brand New Draco, which is another, you know, uh, pretty good song, to be honest with you. But it, it does still fall into that repetitiveness. You know what I mean? Um, I do, I kind of wish he might have went um, elsewhere for production, a couple of other places, not like, I mean, not to get it twisted, like, Metro Boomin was killing it, but it gets kind of um, repetitive, just the same flow and the same type of beats, you know what I mean, and the same type of flows and the same voice, and, you know what I mean, gets, I'm pretty sure y'all know what I mean, um, then we went into uh, No One Left, No Op, Left behind, um, no op left behind. Um, that was another pretty skippable, so I'm just gonna skip along, you know what I mean? That was okay. Um, then we went to our uh, RIP love. Um, I don't want to be too critical because I do kind of like the song, so I don't want to be overly critical, but I will say that, um, it's that monotone. That monotone, and I think he was going for a um, like kind of a, a heartfelt, uh, 
like tear jerker type of uh vibe on this song and lyrically it's kind of there but his flow his voice it, it just it, it doesn't show emotion like it just doesn't have much emotion um in it you know what i mean then we move on to said and done which is the last track said and done i guess that makes sense right um I wasn't really feeling it. To be honest with you, by the end of this album, I was kind of glad it was over. Um, I don't, you know, whatever. Anyways, in summary, I'll say that I don't see any songs outside of the uh, stepping, stepping on niggas, maybe making it into my um, playlist. You know what I mean? Revolver. But, um, so okay, CD. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess it's not a CD anymore. You're showing a nigga age and shit. <laughs> um, it ain't for me. You know what I mean? It's not really my cup of tea. It's not really for me. I mean, he never was. So if you fuck with him before, you probably still gonna fuck with this shit because I think it is kind of more of, uh, his type of shit, his type of music. I think that's what he was going to. He was like trying to get back to his base, his core fans. Um, it's not my cup of tea like I just said But I do kind of understand How the younger generation can really fuck with this Like niggas that's still out there in the trap Doing shit like that You know what I'm saying um, I mean I used to fuck I, Like I would compare him to somebody I used to kind of bump when I was younger You know what I mean um, Actually a couple of them I used to bump real. I would say all three Of the motherfucking um, Miller brothers From uh, Low Limit you know what I mean? Like he got a little master P and 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 uh and silk in him, but um what he really reminds me of is C Murder. Like that's who he kind of like really reminds me of. If I had to like compare him to somebody from my era, and you know C Murder had a great career before you know what happened to him. You know, um, free C Murder. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh. You know, C Murder was never like one of my favorite artists or anything like that either. But like I said, he he had his lane and um he did his thing. You feel what I'm saying? And with that, um, I don't think I got too much more to say about this. I'm out.